Hello, welcome to lesson 21 polymorphism in C-sharp brought to you by Angpro Technologies and my name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn what is overriding of virtual methods and also what is polymorphism. Right now, we'll jump into a demo. Here in this demo, we, we have a class called employee and that class employee is having some properties called first name and last name and respectively the values are assigned to them for first name the value is ang pro and the last name the value is training and it also has a method called print full name which prints the first name and last name now when i create an object of this employee and i call this method respectively it will print ang pro training on the con command pop window but in the previous session we learned the concepts of inheritance and also the method IDing. Right now, we'll use the inheritance concept now. How do I inherit this employee as a base class? How do I inherit to other classes? It's very simple. Now, I've taken a class called employee and in employee, there may be a categories like part-time employee, full-time employee and also the temporary employee. Right now, we'll create the classes of them and to those classes, we'll inherit this class employee. How to do that? It's very simple. Public class first we'll take it as part-time employee part-time employee once it is done now how do I inherit it it's very simple colon and sorry it's very simple colon and call the class which you want to inherit I want to inherit your employee class so this is how we'll inherit employee class to the partial to the part part time employee class. Now similarly, I want the other two. They are full time employee. And also the other one is temporary employee. These are the three categories of employee. Temporary employee. These are the three categories of employee which I have taken here and they are the child classes and they are inheriting the base class that is employee class. Now, I want to create in the main method what I will do, I will just create an array of employee. How do I create? It's very simple. Employee and I will take array name as employee equals new employee I'll, my array employee array size is 4 now once I'm having the memory allocation of size 4 I want to store values to it how do I store I'll store values using the employee array name and since array works on the zero based index I'll store it from 0 and uh, what I want to store I have to create an object of the employee first okay now in the second one what I would like to store I would now what I'll do is I'll create an object of the child class that is part-time employee will I'll explain it clearly once I done with these things now the other two things I have to do that is one for full-time employee I have to create object full-time employee and part and temporary employee full-time it's very simple full-time employee and temporary employee now next thing what I will use is I'll use for each loop to iterate iterate this array since the return type is of employee type I'll use employee and the variable I'll take it as he and the collection is collection of a, the name of array is employee so I'll pass that collection here and once I'm done with this what happens when this for each loop iterates through this collection e this e it will come to each object now when it comes to part-time object what it will see it will go to the part-time object part-time class then it will see it is inherited from employee class and employee class is having a method called print full name so what I have to do every time it iterates through the particular object I have to call that method so I'll I'll use e then dot operator print full name you can observe here what happens for each iteration it will print the print full name method for the respective object now once I've done with this, what I'll do, I'll run the program by pressing Ctrl F5. You can observe, 
Hang Pro Technologies Hang Pro training will be printed four times for the respective employees. That is for employee object itself, then part time employee, full time employee, and temporary employee. Therefore, on the console it has to print four times Hang Pro training. Just please wait for a while. The problem is I have not changed the index. Okay, now when I run this program, you can observe successfully four Hang Pro trainings are printed, but my intention is not that. My intention is what I have to print is on the print of each name that is first name and last name it has to, it has to tell me what type of employee it is whether it is part time employee, full time employee or temporary employee. It means that my output should come in this format that is Hang Pro Training its full name and Hang Pro Training its full name and to which which category of employee it belongs to. It belongs to part time employee or full time employee or temporary employee. Now I have to write a code in such a way that it has to print uh, this type of this type of output on the console window. That is, how do I do that? It's very simple. It's what I have to do is I have to create a specific method for the particular class. That is, for part-time employee, I have to create a specific method which will print like this: Anchor Training Part-time Employee on the console window. How do I do that? Uh, it's very simple. I'll copy this method and Control V. Now it is telling me part time employee its inherited member employee dot print full name what happens once the derived method is having the same method definition which is having in the base class then what happens is when you run the program this method will be called at the back end this method will be hidden so now if you want to intentionally hidden it's telling us use the new keyword if in if hiding was intended. It means that if you want to hide the method which is in the base class and if you want only to print the method which is a derived class then use the new keyword here. Now I'll do it for other things that is control V control V and the thing is I have to append here hyphen dot part time employee part time employee similarly I have to do for this also how do I do it it's very simple I have to name it, rename it as uh, sorry I'll come from here I have to re rename it as full time and this is temporary now since as we saw now when I run this program as I have defined the specialized method for the individual classes it has to print these lines on the console but when I run this program you can observe the method the default method which is in the base class will be called why because it's because of this the parent class variable is pointing to a child class object and parent class variable is pointing to a child class object and in this scenario you can observe the base class reference that is base class reference employee the base class reference employee em reference variable employee can point to a child class object and this concept actually forms the basis for polymorphism and it's because of this when you run this program it's not calling the specified method which is given in the specified classes for the specified classes instead it is calling the method which is in the base class only now how to overcome this now what I'll do is my intention is to overwrite the definition which is present in the base class and I have to print the definition which is in the part-time employee class how do how do I do that it's very simple um, I have to use override keyword it's very now if I want to override this method and print only this method on the console I have to use a override keyword and in order to do that we have to make the method in the parent class we have to make the method in the parent class as virtual I will use a virtual keyword and I'll make this method as virtual now I have to make here as override Similarly, I'll do it for other things also. Here, instead of that, I'll use override keyword. I 
I'll use override keyword. Now, what I'll do when I run this program, you can observe the respective employee, respective names with the respective employee, respective categories printed part time employee, full time, and temporary employee. And this is just employee object, it's printing Ankh Pro training. Now, the output is expected, is what we got as expected. This is how we can override the method which is in the base class by using the two keyword that is override and virtual keep in mind virtual keyword if you want to override the method then you have to use the virtual keyword for the method which is in the base class and you want to use the override keyword to override that method in the derived class now once I've done with this my intention is why I made it as virtual now when I mark the method in the base class as virtual here when I mark the base class as virtual it basically indicates to a derived class this virtual indicates to a derived class that any derived class for example part time or full time any derived class uh, can override the virtual can override this virtual method in the base uh, in the base class if this derived class wishes to do that is why I made this that is why I made the use of virtual keyword in the base class method. Now, when I run the program, as you observed, I got the output as expected, and this is this is what I needed, and it's and it's printing as expected. You can see here. Now I'll come back to the program. What I'll do is, I'll just close this, and I'll come come here and. You can observe though the reference variable is of is at the type of parent. This reference variable is is from the type parent that is employee, and at runtime what happens is the employee variable that is parent variable employee variable it checks at the runtime it checks what kind of object it is having, whether it is employee object itself or the child class objects. Suppose if it is for example if it is part time employee and I'm calling and I'm calling the print full name method then I want what, what it what I want I want it to override the print full name method which is present in the base class and it has to print the method which is in the derived class it means that to be in simple to tell in simple when I create an object of this it will just call this method this method it has to call which is present in the derived class not in the base class how do I do that it's done using the override keyword and virtual keyword and finally the child class object the respective child class will be get executed thank you have a nice day please subscribe to Ankh Pro training below